and of the world part so two. So where should I put this annihilator? In the name of all beings on Earth, I wish to apologize to the Pan Galactic Service. That's great, but the annihilator is already on. I can't take it back now. Is there a way to disarm it? Well, actually, if you throw it in water, it won't work. Really? Well, I've got to go. I have eight planets on my list to destroy. Robot, we need water and we need it now. There's a fire hydrant over there. Fire hydrant. Fire hydrant. Oh my Kira, god. Quick, do something. You're gonna malfunction fire now. Hydrant. Really? I'm malfunctioning again. Holy moly! Do it by throwing it in a... Okay, I'll need a hose. Once upon... Oh, this motor pumps water, but it doesn't work. I'm getting a little stressed. I, I know I don't have to, but I'm like, oh no! No, no, I already tried that! Ah! Where is... What? Where's the ho Oh, what? Oh, piece of hose? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Okay, fine. We're looking for pieces of hose. And by the way, the pieces look like the background, so that's gonna be easy to find. I don't know, for some reason I was like super stressed. Like, ah! Well, I guess I, technically we are stressed, but still. Oh. Okay, it's on. Piece of hose. Last piece of hose is not there. Might be here, or might be at the other place. Hmm. Might be somewhere over here. Yeah. Possibly. Oh, but it's like, it is beige brown. What? Why don't you just make a green hose? Oh, wait, green wouldn't be much better, actually, because there's a lot of grass here. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna pick it up. Cool. Don't mind the fact it's a bomb or anything. Wait, what? What did you. What? What did you do? What? 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 It didn't do- What? What happened? It didn't even do anything! Oh no! Okay, so let's do hint again. Really? Now you're telling me to go this way? You just told me to go the other way! What? You are crazy! What? Oh my god, it was on- Okay, fine, it was on the gate. Oh. Whee! Bye-bye. Phew, we took care of the bomb. Robot, can you hear me? It looks like I need to reboot the robot. Like, seriously, this guy needs a major, like, overhaul or something. Gotta reboot him all the time. On the other hand, we get to play Hangman every time. Oh, we only have five guesses this time. We get to play Hangman every time he needs to rebooting. Oh. I don't know what we're spelling, though. <laughs> ah, crap. Whoa, oh, whoa. Well, extraterrestrial. Rebooting. He's 
a happy robot. Thank you, Vera. I'm malfunctioning more and more lately. I think it's time I had a tune-up. Yep, but when did you start malfunctioning? A long time ago, after I was dropped from the third floor and shipped from the factory. How about I take a peek inside? Perhaps there's just a loose wire or a short circuit or something. Be my guest. It looks like your motherboard has been broken into little pieces. I'm amazed you're functioning at all. Yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I had no idea. I'll try to fix you now. That will be good. Repair the robot by putting all the pieces of his motherboard in place. But seriously, this game is like all the puzzles or something. It's crazy. But also so cool that they really have so many puzzles. This is like puzzles for everyone, really. Am I right? Am I right? Of course I'm right. I'm always right. Maybe not. Okay, so whatever part I need is like... Yeah, it's somewhere else. Huh. Interesting. Okay... Okay, I'm totally over the sound effects now when you just move around the pieces. Like, seriously, stop. Uh, nope. There we go. Exactly, I saw you. Uh, there we go. Huh. Aha, uh -huh. come on. Alright, we're done. We are totally done. Motherboard! Go. Thanks, Vera. You're welcome. And now it's time for me to go. You're the best robot of all time. Goodbye, Vera. Be sure to come back again. I hope I won't have to. Connecting to Laboratory 2008. Travel. Alright, here we go. So we saved the world. I guess a couple times, but still. Yay, roller coaster! Um, it said 74% before. Why is it now 56% in chapter 19? I do not believe in this number. So, okay. Computer games. Tom, how are you? Auntie Vera, Grandpa Einbach won't let me play on the computer. Computer games are bad for kids. But I'm already ten years old. I'm a big boy. Don't you remember? In order to break the hypnosis, you need to give Tom something that he didn't have during his childhood. Perhaps he didn't play any computer games? I never thought of that. Let's try. My niece gave me a disc with computer games. I just never used it. 
<laughs> Find a laptop computer, a disc with games, and start a computer game. Exactly what I need. Okay, time machine. What more am I unlocking? What? Yeah, no. Oh, over here. Okay. No, battery first. Ah, put the skin. Here we go! Woohoo! We are so great. Look, Tom, we're going to play a computer game now. Hooray! What do I have to do? I'll show you. Play a computer game with Tom! I have no. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, okay, okay. I see what we're doing. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't like these. Sir. These are so hard. I don't like them. Well, that has to be here. That needs to go there. Um. That means that goes there. That goes there. That goes. There. Okay, so it isn't overly hard. Okay, good. Cool. It's like confetti, but digital. Oh. Oh no. It's another one. This one is not as nice. Well, that can only go there. Start with that. Uh, where could this go? Here, I think, is the only place. Uh, it seems like the only space for that one and that one. Okay, okay, so maybe it isn't so horrible. I yield, I yield. There we go. Don't tell me one more time though, please. Oh wait, test complete. That's good. Nope! Let's- no. Oh. Fine. That could actually be there too, okay. Was that- Hmm. So Tom, what do you think? What an amazing game. It's great. Okay, now Tom, how old are you? When I grow up, I'm going to make computer games. Okay, I, I guess it didn't work. He's still hypnotized. He still thinks he's little. Who are you calling little? I'm in the fourth grade already. I think we're going to have to find out how to break the hypnosis from the person who did this to him. Are you planning on going back to the mushroom age? Yeah, I think it's the only way we'll be able to figure this out. You're crazy. You'll be hypnotized. I don't have a choice, Professor. Tom and I are getting married in two days, <laughs> and he thinks he's only ten years old. Maybe he'll just snap out of it. Perhaps. But in ten years, he'll be twenty, 
and I could consider marrying him then, but this is totally unacceptable to me. I have a plan. The Uber Mushroom is mad and evil because he's lonely. He thinks he's the only intelligent being on the planet in the Mushroom Age. But when I was a toadstool... You were a toadstool? For a short time. It's a long story. <laughs> anyway, all the mushrooms in the Mushroom Age spoke with me. We just need to help the Uber Mushroom understand their language. Well, how are you going to do that? I have an idea, but I'll need to go back to the 16th century. Keep an eye on Tom for me, okay? Be careful, Vera. Auntie Vera, please come back. You're lots of fun. Don't worry, I'll be right back. Connecting to Nostradamus. All right, so I guess we're gonna get an elixir from Nostradamus, so... I'm gonna give it to the uber mushrooms so we can understand all the other mushrooms and then everyone will be happy! And hopefully we're not gonna marry someone who thinks he's 10 years old because that's kinda creepy. See? We went from 74 to 56% to 86% completed of the game. That's pretty crazy. And we have played two chapters, so we're gonna end it right here and we'll see if we play the rest of the game next time or not. But, uh, anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you later.